Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back today with a Dollar Tree haul and found some good stuff. The bonus, bo bonus boxes of the Toastums are back. I was hoping they'd come back with all of the back to school stuff. That's what they usually do every year is they bring the bonus boxes and they did. These are the two flavors that I found. I don't know if any of the other flavors have the bonus yet or not, but the brown sugar cinnamon, instead of getting six, you get eight. And the strawberry is also eight instead of six. They sometimes have blueberry, but I didn't see it in the bonus pack. And they have the chocolate, like chocolate fudge. I didn't see it in the bonus pack. So if you guys know that, please let me know. But these seem to be the two favorite flavors for the grandkids. Some of them like the brown sugar cinnamon. Some of them like the strawberry. So I did pick up a box of each. And if I see them again, I may pick up more just to pass along to the kids because they like them. So yeah, these are the brown sugar cinnamon and the strawberry. I think that's a great deal. $1.25 for eight of them. Why not? And back to school is right around the corner, guys. And a couple more food items. They have all of these Wanabana. And they're like the applesauce pouches. They have a little twist top. And then the kids can just, you know, suck them out. And the kids really enjoy these. And we like them too. And this is the apple cinnamon. And you get three packs in here. These are great to throw in a lunchbox. As long as your kids know not to squeeze them, because when they squeeze them, they shoot right up out. But these are really good. And they did have the plain apple. We've seen them in apple mango, maybe apple pineapple, apple banana. But the plain apple and the apple cinnamon are the go-tos in our house. So pick that up. And then I am actually making snack bags snack bag and they had these back for some reason these have been hit or miss in my stores i haven't seen them in a long time so when i saw them i picked up two pouches of them because these are my favorite these are the maddie k these smoked almonds and these just make a nice little snack and i get more than one serving out of these what does it say the serving size is the serving size is two these are made in the usa and I'm gonna throw these in a bag and take with us when we go to the beach this year because I love them. And it is a, a healthier choice than having a candy bar or, or something like that, potato chips. These are so good. This brand, they're always fresh and delicious. And the, if you haven't tried the hickory smoke flavor, try it. These used to be a kind of a treat. Every year at Christmas time, my gram used to buy I think it was Planters brand of these smoked almonds, but never any other time throughout the year. It was always right at Christmas time. So these were very like special when I was growing up. And now just being able to have them whenever I want, it just reminds me of her and they're just so good. And then I think this is the last of the food items. I had picked up the blueberry flavor. This time I found the apple cinnamon. And these are the Sunbest bars. It's eight grams of whole grain, soft baked, no high fructose corn syrup, and you get four really nice bars in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I think I showed you the blueberry. I tried it and it was delicious, delicious. They're gone now. And I believe there may be strawberry out there. I think I saw somebody haul strawberry. I haven't found those yet. But if I see them, I will pick them up because they sound delicious. So they come in a nice size bar. They remind me a lot of a, um, why do I always forget the name of those cookies? Fig Newtons. That's what they kind of remind me of, that texture. Not flavor, of course. But they're a nice size bar. You can see how big they are. And they're very soft, very fresh. Oh, these you can see the fruit inside a lot better. The blueberry one, it's almost like they baked right into the the um, cake part. These you can see it in there. Don't they look like a, fr a Fig Newton? I'm going to go ahead and try a bite. Mm. These are good, guys. 
so good. I really enjoy them a lot. So I'm on the hunt for the strawberry. And if I do see more boxes of, boxes of these, I am going to pick them up as well to pass along to the kids, for the grandkids. Nice little thing, thing to throw in a lunchbox, book bag, snack bag, which I may do that. I may throw some of those in our snack bag to take too. And I think that was it for the um, food stuff. Well, I'll show these because it goes along in the food section. I was making cupcakes one day and didn't have any cupcake liners. I saw these first in the store and threw those in the cart. And these are by Spring Fling. So these were out way back in the spring. And I did, this is what I had on hand. And they, I remember they came in other colors in the spring. They had pink and this is kind of blue color. And you get 24 in here. But I knew they would have these somewhere and I ended up finding them too. And this is the Bake Fresh Pastel Baking Cups and you get 90 in here. So it's a much better value to get these than these, but they're so pretty. And they worked very, very well. They, they didn't stick too hard. They did not stick in my pans. So now I think I'm pretty set for cupcake liners for a while. And then, they had all of these pretty little girls back in the toy section. So I picked up another set of these for in Toys for Tots. There are four. I'm going to see if I can hold them all as I'm going here. Her name is Karina. And I like these because they all have a story. There's a story behind each one. And I just think that's amazing. But this is Karina. And she loves stargazing and studying astrology, and she wants to become an astronaut someday. Super cute. This one is, is it Iha or Iha? And she loves fishing, collecting seashells and trinkets at the beach and baking cookies. She wants to be a marine biologist. This one is Atlantis, 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 that didn't come out very easily. And she loves technology, playing video games, building toy robots and drones and playing soccer. And she dreams of becoming a computer engineer and maybe an online influencer. I like her. And then this one is Vera. And she has a passion for crystals and gemstones, and she loves making art, being outdoors, adding more crystals and gem gemstones to her growing collection. And when she grows up, she dreams of becoming a mineral mineralologist and geologist. So I think these are super cute, and I love the dreams that these young ladies have. I think they're just excellent. And these were the only four that I've ever found. I don't, I don't think that there's any more. And it shows on the back that they, there are these four. I wish they would come out with a line of boys. So these are going to go in the Toys for Tots if one of the grandkids don't scoop them up first. I have all my bins for Toys for Tots upstairs in the attic. I do film there every once in a while. If you guys have been here for a while that you know that I have them all lined up, the bins and all filled up. And whenever the grandkids come around, they do sneak up there and, and pull things out every now and again, which is fine. And then in the back to school, I showed the crayons in these brands, picked up these this time. This is the Jolly Rancher scented rainbow pens and you get 10 colors in this one. What does it say on the back here? Oh, it does tell you. It tells you on the back what they are. You have cherry and orange and pineapple and green apple and wild berry, cinnamon, blackberry. It said smell me. I was thinking that maybe that was a scratch and sniff, but it's not. And then they had Fruit Loops. And this one does not tell you the scent, the scents of each. It just shows you the colors. So I don't know if these will go in Toys for Tots or if they will go in in the um just for the kids to have. Nice. And then I needed some sponges, random. 
they have these nice big packs of six of these scrub buddies and these are the ones that have the grooves so that when you're holding it you get a nicer hold and plus it helps protect your nails if you have have your nails done but what i do with these i i cut them in half to make two smaller ones with each one and it's the perfect size like to use down inside glasses and things like that having the the half of a sponge, it just works better for me. So instead of getting six sponges, I get 12. So one of these packs lasts me a long time, but I'm just about out. And then I finally found a true yellow paint. This was the Rich Art brand, um, Acrology, Acrylology, anyway. And this is multi-purpose, non-toxic, water-soluble, made in the USA, does it? Yes, it just says yellow. I had found a, um, it was almost like a yellow orange color and that's not what I was looking for. I struggled to find just a true yellow paint and it is acrylic, which that's what we use. I like acrylic paint the best. And the kids when Harper and London were here for the, the two weeks, they went through a ton of paint. So I'm restocking now. And I think this was the last color that we were super low on. So I was happy to find that. And always, guys, if you do get anything with a, tw a top, a twist top cap, always make sure it's tightened. When you're emptying your cart, putting it up onto the, the belt, check everything so nothing leaks in your bags. And then I thought this was interesting. This was in the baby section. I do always check the baby section too, just to see what's new. They had this by Gerber. It's called Gerber Good Start, and this is a replenishing probiotic drops. It naturally promotes bacterial balance, lost an occasional digestive upset, improves baby's gut microbio, my, microbiota, helps support healthy immune system. It's non-GMO, and it says for, this is good from birth on. And it tells you what to do with it. I have no idea what this is. We don't have any baby babies in the family right now. I don't know if this would work for a littlest grand lady. But I just wanted you guys to see what was out there. If this is something you might be interested in for your child. I'm not a doctor, not a pediatrician, don't know anything about this. But wanted to let you know it's there. Interesting. And it says it's a product of Italy. I think that's the first time I've ever ever seen something that was a product of Italy. Where is the um the Columbia brand pastas made? I can't remember. And then I keep talking about doing a makeup Monday for you. So I keep watching the makeup sections, trying to find different stuff. And I know this was out a while ago, but I haven't seen it recently. I picked up some of their BB cream already, but when I saw this, I thought I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. This is in the shade creamy beige it says liquid makeup complete coverage cruelty free mess free pump la colors brand i'm gonna go ahead and open this so that we can get kind of a shade shade swatch here i'm gonna go ahead and let's see how that's not too bad that is not too bad of a color for me I think I did pretty good there. A light, light scent, but nothing, nothing horrible. That's not bad. So I'm gonna put this in that bag. I've been putting everything that I've been picking up in a baggie to do a Makeup Monday sometime in the near future. And we're gonna give this a try too, I think. See which one I like better. Maybe I'll do half my face in the BB cream and half of my face in this and see see which I like better. Never done something like that before, so we'll see how that goes. And then on my lips today, which it's probably really hard for you to see, I think in yesterday's video I showed this lipstick. It was the um, L'Oreal brand. It came in a pink iridescent zip closed little, little pouch on a clip strip hanging in the makeup section. This is the color I have on today, and I like this. It's the Color Reach Shine line, 914 in glazed pink. This is nice. I actually touched the lipstick with the bottom of the cap, 
so I made a little mess there. This is so smooth and just so, I think I touched my teeth too. It is not sticky, it's light, there's no overpowering scent to this. It's just pretty. So I'm on the lookout for another one of these. I want one for back here on my desk and I want to get one to put in my purse. I'll go ahead and, I know I showed it in yesterday's, but I do have that makeup over here, but I think we're good here. Very light, light coverage. Just, it's not goopy, it's not thick, it's not sticky. I just think it's a real pretty spring, summer color, which I'll wear it all year. Very nice. They have so many brand name lipsticks out right now. They're just everywhere. They have Maybelline and NYX and all types of stuff. But I like this. I like this shade a lot. And it's kind of sheer. So my natural lip color shines through and it doesn't make it look super duper pink. I like it. So anyway, that is it for this haul, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away, move along with my day. I hope you're doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. I think I might, I have a Timu haul sitting here. Not sure if I want to do it today or maybe do it tomorrow. This Timu haul that I have, it's actually not sponsored. I'm not an affiliate. I've never been an affiliate with with Timu, they have gifted me items in the past, but this order is all my own, use my own money, and I wanna get it done and get it out for you guys so that I can go ahead and get the stuff put away. So I may do that. All right, everyone, have a great day. I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.